Yeah, this is Paul. You know, I got to thinking about that whole matching thing. Um, there's a word in um, in uh, the dictionary called, just a second here. Hang on, just a second here. Enslave. <laughs> to make a slave of, to put in bondage. <laughs> then there's another word and franchise to grant with civil rights as a right to vote to give a franchise to <laughs> now let's say back in 1999 i think it was <laughs> when i first met heidi at that goodwill Pooh. let's say there was somebody in the family that had some knowledge that i actually am a wealthy man because of an inheritance that i've yet to receive <laughs> Heidi had been married twice before, and if she if she was in the family before our marriage, it could have been more of an enslavement than a, than a marriage that was intended to be a marriage of love. <laughs> now, when you talk about matching people, there is a technology that can be used to surveillance the population so as to enslave a person. Now, at that time, I was a... I was a stockbroker, a financial consultant at Washington Mutual, and I was doing pretty good for myself, <laughs> making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. And Heidi had recently separated from from uh, from her second husband, and little Jessica was there at the Goodwill. Well, I I gave her my phone number and invited her to church, and I didn't see her again. But then six months later, boy, our our paths crossed when the Albertsons was up there. <laughs> and I got her phone number, and I really pursued her. I was living in a condominium overlooking the, the whole port of Port Angeles, the whole harbor there. And <laughs> I was doing pretty well for myself. Now, there are those in the government that know things about citizens that the citizens sometimes themselves don't know. <laughs> now, let's say you went through the marriage licenses of every citizen. Then you looked at, did you do some online dating over the last decade? Or how did you actually meet each other? Now, those in the family would say, well, the guy's making too much money, and he's single, he has no debt, he has no worries. Poop. I mean, I was making a lot of money working at the, the Squim in Port Angeles and Port Towns in uh, Washington Mutuals, and I know there were quite a few people in the community that really didn't like me that much. So the thought is, well, get him a wife, enslave the guy. Put the old ball and chain on him. <laughs> now let's say I found out that those in the top secret fish family that don't enforce the laws of the United States, ha ha ha, <laughs> come to find out that I'm doing pretty well for myself and they're doing some very nefarious, devious types of experimenting on the American population. <laughs> You know, 15 years ago, 16, 17 years ago, when myself and Heidi first consummated the relationship, we actually had sex once before we got married, and she would bring that up periodically. Well, you had sex with me before we got married. And I was like, well, I wanted to make sure that I fit okay. We had sex once before we got married. Now she was living in a little house not so far from the library and as I remember it she was going to Peninsula College and little Jessica was staying at the daycare there every day at the Peninsula College. <laughs> Now, I'm going to need to know the marriage licenses of every citizen of the United States for the last 30 years. Then I'm going to want to know, well, how did they get matched? Was somebody deciding who should marry who? Because I had one friend in Vancouver, a client of mine, and I had some of those fish experiences when you know that they're on you, looking through your eyes, just balancing everything you do. they got to know what they're doing all the time. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I think he got matched. He, he used one of these online dating services. <laughs> 
Is there any possibility we could go through every email and every IP address of every online dating service right now? Now, I know that matching people using technology because you want to enslave them so that a decade later they file for divorce and they have to identify who the biological children are and who the biological children are not. <coughs> I had read once in one of these responses to disillusion or, or whatever, one of these court documents that Jessica had become my biological daughter and biological is a word that you don't usually use in a marriage unless you're going through a divorce. Now, my five sons, my biological sons, <laughs> might know that I was actually matched with the old ball and chain. And it could be that Heidi had some knowledge that I might be the king of Washington State. Cacao, cacao. <laughs> that I might own all the trees in Clallam County. Ooch. <laughs> that everything that's happened for the last, oh, 15, 16 years was intended so as to cause me the greatest amount of torture, pain, suffering, intimidation, harassment, and prosecution and persecution that any American citizen's ever had to endure. <laughs> I just wanted to know how many marriages were matched, how many of them were decided and sewn into each other before they actually got to know each other so as to cause them to think that they were in love with each other. <laughs> now, when you use sewing technology to sew people together, <laughs> it gives the impression of love when the truth is once you remove the sewing, it gives the impression of divorce. And you know how lawyers love divorce. Oh, they love divorce because they make a lot of money in divorce. I've often said it's very easy to get married, but it's difficult to get divorced. <laughs> It'll cost you ten, twenty thousand dollars to get the divorce, but a couple hundred dollars you get a marriage license and just as a piece of marry you and bing, bang, boom, you're there in the family. Ouch. Now I know. Okay. I know, okay, that I'm just going to need to know every marriage that was matched and sewn together because of those in the fish family that just love to destroy the happiness and enjoyment of American lives. Could you get me those marriage licenses? Could you get me those computers? And I want to know every marriage that was sewn together because of the use of technology.